This is going to be part one of I don't know how many for a series, but we're going to delve into my story. And if it helps at least one person, then that's the purpose of this. This is not for the faint of heart. It has trigger warnings. I'm going to post trigger warning up here. It's going to trucks. It's going to cover a lot of things. I'm not going to list each one. I'm going to start with father wounds because it's the shortest. Yeah, we're going to start with father wounds because it's the shortest part of it. And starts with the earliest, probably part of my childhood. Um, I grew up in a suburb of Chicago. Um, I was born in the late 80s, grew up in the 90s. Just to give you time frame, a lot of other people that grew up in that time frame will understand a lot of the way of being raised back then because it's probably a lot of similarities of how they were raised back then um, my father was heavy into drugs and alcohol um, it's a lot of why he wasn't present in my life He was present until I was about kindergarten, so when I was about six. Um, he lived, I would say, walking distance from where we lived at the time when I was in kindergarten. Um, however, we moved around a lot in our suburb. Which is a very large suburb. I can say, like, school year wise, we pretty much moved every year. Across town, here, there, everywhere. Like, I pretty much went to a different school every year until I think my grandma put her foot down and insisted I stay in the same school about third grade. But anywho, back to my father. So I would visit him, spend time with him occasionally. Not enough to have, like, real solid memories. till about kindergarten. The real solid memory I have... I remember my sister. Like, her name. And then... Alright, so about kindergarten. Sorry, my radio turned back on. About kindergarten, my father needed drug money, broke into the place we were living in, and proceeded to take valuables and pawn them at a local pawn shop. And he could have gotten away with it had he done a normal break-in and chosen a normal pawn shop. Now, he chose to... Now, when you steal, like, say, a VCR DVD player, it was only VCR back then. He 
gently moved things aside instead of just like throwing everything around, destroying the place. He gently moved things to get to the VCR. <laughs> and then he took it to the pawn shop owned by gra grandmother's neighbor. So he was recognized. And he took some items that would be easily recognized when found. So he did, he did time when he was found out in jail. To which case my six year old self was like, I disown you because you did something wrong and got in trouble for it. Of course, I'm sure I was influenced by my mom. Whatever. Start of abandonment wound. Later in life, my grandma's neighbor becomes my uncle on my dad's side. After my dad got out of jail, he moved away to Wisconsin. No longer heard from him. One point, he visited his brother, who lived next door to my grandmother, and was there while I was at my grandmother's house. I did not recognize him, but my mom pointed out that he was there and did not recognize me either, or at least did not acknowledge that he recognized me. Don't know if that was on purpose or what, as to not stir the pot. Now to me, as a child, the fact that she pointed out that he didn't say he recognized me triggered something to say, oh, my own dad doesn't even recognize me. That's sad. Thus, making abandonment wound bigger. Now. Granted, it's been years since I've seen this man. Skip ahead multiple years to when I'm in my 20s my sister decides she wants to get in touch with all the siblings and reaches out to me through social media, which then allows me to get back in touch with my father. It becomes kind of like, oh, we're there, but we don't really talk. But if I have any questions, like family history-wise, he said he's there, which I do in turn end up having to do because my sister needed to know stuff, which I've learned they didn't even know my sister existed. Whole big can of worms. Family drama. Unrelated to me because, well... My younger sister had been put up for adoption when she was born, so that's wounds that are unrelated. Um, with that, though, kind of learn you don't get to heal wounds when the they don't. He doesn't really want to work through them either. And you kind of learn he moved away to work with the family that he chose over you. Kind of makes it a little odd. But we'll continue in part two. Because we're out of time on this one.